this is uh, Alex. And this is Shree. And we are at the Baron Hega Kumar Castle. Welcome to the castle! So, this castle was very protected at its time. It had a moat which kept attackers out. Pretty much, it was really hard for them to swim and then get up the walls. It had a portcullis which could raise and lower. Uh, if it, it was raised if you could if you wanted to get in. Oh, I'm sorry. It was raised if if you did not if you did not want people getting in, and if and it was lowered like it is right now if you wanted people to go into the gate and go into the sorry go into the castle. Okay. Next, we're going to go into the castle. Okay, so we just came through the um, the portcullis, which is this thing. It stopped attackers, obviously, because you don't want them just rushing in. Um, up here is the gatehouse. Very nice. There would be... There is... Um, there are things that open and close the gate. And if you go up there, there are arrows, arrow slits, which attackers could shoot, I'm sorry, defenders could shoot arrows out of, and they would hit the attackers, and the attackers would have a hard time getting to them. And even farther up there is a murder hole, and the murder hole would, um, he could pour lava and tar, well, not lava, because they didn't have lava, but you could pour tar and stuff, and, like, leftovers down from the murder hole, and it would hit the attackers. Not nice. So, uh, in here, that leads to the, um, that leads to the towers, some of them, that leads to the, the gatehouse towers, which <clears throat> are these, uh, obviously, you could fire stuff out of here and hit the, hit the attackers, down there is nothing much, it just leads to, yeah, really nothing, it, le it leads to, uh, it leads to more um, windows, and these these are battlements. This well, right now I'm walking on a, an allure or wall walk. So pretty much uh, the defenders would stand on here and they would shoot down. The high point of the battlements is a merlon, and the low points, which are these, are called crenels. And obviously you could shoot down from those. Now on to stuff like the privy. This is a privy. You did your business in there. Yeah, things like that. If you go if you were to go up, this is the this is a, like a parapet and this is a, the whole tower and attackers would have a hard time firing from way up here. Okay. Hello, we're back, and we have more buildings to show you. So this is the chapel, and this is where you pray. And on the chest, there's the Bible. These are the Bibles. And, yeah. And then that's where the priest sits. And that is uh, a mural. Yeah, it looks doesn't look like a mural, mural yeah. but to the Minecraft characters, it is. And that is the cross. And here are the barracks. I know it wasn't part of the um, of the list of yeah requirements, but I think that troops need a place to sleep. And here is one place. So pretty much in these um, troops slept, and that's where knights slept. Here's a little privy because people wanted their privacy. So that's the barracks. So these are the stables, and this is where the knights' horses were kept. And this when guy's named Johnny. <laughs> and then when they wanted to be used, they just yeah. Ooh, like, that, guy, that looks like it hurts slamming yeah. your head. Yeah, okay. and then if they wanted to use it, they'll just like dismount it or like get on it. And then when they don't, they'll just dismount it. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So in here is the armor slash weaponsmith. These guys smith their armor and their weapons in here. So that's how the castle got most of its tools and stuff. Siege tools. Okay, in here is the armory. It's where the knights suited up in their full iron suits and donned their armor and 
took out their swords and got ready to fight. So this was the castle dungeon. In here, oh, there was, well, prisoners really didn't have much freedom because if you were in the dungeon, chances are you wouldn't be getting out. The dungeons were very dilapidated, not much went on in them. Things forgot, were, people actually were forgot about, forgotten about. And that's, that's all, the, that's all in the dungeon. So, over here, we have a random flag. And we have a well, where the people got their water. You could dump a bucket in there. We have an inner moat, which is not on the list, but why not? Then we have the keep. This was probably the most important building of the castle. It was a fortified tower that housed a lot of things. For instance, this this keep actually houses the um, queens and or sorry the baronesses and barons' bedchambers, and that's where they slept. It also houses the treasure room and the great hall. So this this large gate with the convenient door is a wicket. Wickets were self-described they they were they were gates so you come in and this is the great hall it looks pretty magnificent if i do say so myself there are tables uh and it, the lower the lower you were uh, or the farther you were seated away from the king which is this is where the baron actually would sit and he looks out on everything but the farther away you sat that you that usually meant that you were less important. So if you sat here, you were probably a servant or something. So uh, the baroness would sit on one of these, and relatives of and friends of the king would sit there, or like great friends. And by the way, these are stained glass windows because it looks good. Th this is an ornamental armor stand, like just like those knight statues. And, um, uh, this is the kitchen. There's some, there's some bottles brewing. There are storehouses with food ingredients, furnaces, table where you chop stuff, a fire pit, uh, more furnaces. Uh, and this is kind of vents the smoke and steam up there. In here is a grand staircase. So it had obviously more ornamental armor stands and it had pictures and stained glass windows. And plus it also led up to the to the tower or to the parapets on the keep. And this is the chest just like yourself where he had stuff in it. And he had some paintings in that room too. And this is the Baron Baron ba Baron me Baroness's Baroness's bed chamber. Baroness's bed chamber. So this is the Baroness's bed where she slept. And and that's the paintings that she had a lot of paintings. And since she was a girl, she didn't have a own armor stand. And the chest is kind of like a shelf. Okay, so this part over here is the, the treasure. That's where people kept their treasure, and that's where the king queen and the people who lived in the castle kept their treasures. So this is just an exquisite area of the uh, of the balcony. You could look out on the grand staircase. It looked good because it had bows named apparently Zeus. I don't know why because Zeus is uh, Greek. Yeah. So these are more decorational armor stands. And yeah. Oh, and by the way, that is not a privy, but it's a place where you toss stuff. Ancient version of a trash bin. Oh, no, no. Shh. 
Okay, so on the towers there were these. These obviously they're the battlements, but these are these battlements are there. Oh come on! This area up here was obviously so these parts are the ramparts, and yeah. Uh, don't don't mind that iron block tower. That's from a completely different build. So these were the towers. This is where you shot from. You had a very strong position of fire from here. You could fire down at the enemy and they'd be like, oh my god, we can't hit him. We're too far down. Oh my god. So, yes, those are the parapets areas. And this area right here is the outer wall. It, or the outer bay bailey, actually. This pretty much protected all attacks from uh, people. Or the attackers at least but when the attackers got through this outer wall they faced a second wall around the keep area which was the inner bailey or inner wall conveniently conveniently named and then if they broke through that they had to assault the keep but the keep itself had a tower so they could shoot down at those guys yay not for the guys down there but yay for the people on the keep Now we're going to simulate an attack on the Baron's castle. Let's go. So attackers would shoot at us. You can't touch me. Ha, 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 ha. But we would fire back. And we would actually hit him. So now, uh, as you can see, he's highlighted in... Um, in um, white uh, then he would run toward the porculus but since we have not lowered the drawbridge yet he can reach it however since the gate is closed he can't go anywhere next thing we do we head down there oops not like that that way works We head at, oops. Oh, come on. We head down to the gatehouse. As he's still in there. Oh, and in here you could obviously raise the gate or lower it. And we find him. Oh, first we, first we put some lava or tar up there and dump it on him. But let's say he misses. We can shoot him through these arrow holes. But he, I don't see him yet, so we have to wait. Oh, I see him. Hmm. Far, there, there, I see you. Okay, so now let's shoot him. And uh, fire. Ha ha ha. That's what happens to the attackers. Thank you for watching this. And Shri, say thank you. Thank you. Okay. Bye. We're Just because we want to, we're going to simulate an attack on the castle. Down there is um, a quote-unquote attacker, also known as Shri. Uh, he can't even touch me from here. Seriously, he can't. I have him highlighted just to show that that he can't even touch me from here. I'll shoot. Well, I'll hide behind the battlements. I'll hide behind the Merlons in case he actually hits me from here. But so far, you can't. Yeah, Shri. Better run. Oh no, he's trying to get to the that to the portcullis. That was a fail.
<laughs> that was a real fail. That was a real fail. That was a real fail. <laughs>
Show me.